Hey guys, welcome to the second C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for Lenny Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you um, how to change properties of your form and controls. So first, um, let's just change the size of our form. For like, if we don't like the size of it, or we want to make it bigger or smaller, all you have to do is click on your form and see these little like uh, boxes right out here. You're just going to hover your mouse over one of them and then just click and drag, and you can make your form any size you'd like. I'm going to make it about that size though, because that looks appropriate. The next thing is adding controls to the form. And what a control is, is it's anything that a user, a user can interact with or anything inside your form. For example, a button or a checkbox or a label or anything like that. Those are just common ones. So in order to add a button to our form, you're just going to want to go over to the toolbox and click and drag on the button and then just release it out over your form and it will be there. Another way to add a control to your form is to simply click it and then go over to the form and without dragging and now you should see it, your cursor should look something like this and then you can just go ahead and click and drag and you can draw the control to whatever size you would like. Once you have placed your controls you can move them. You don't have to like dip or not there. You can go ahead and just click and drag on the control and you can move them around and as you can see there are these little lines around your control when you move it and what that means is it'll help you like align your control with other controls so if we wanted to make these be like right next to each other like that so it looks like cleaner then we can just release and they'll be like right aligned like that or if we want to make it like a certain like um, distance away from uh, the side it'll always be like like when the arrow when they're like the same like lines like that that means they're like they're the same distance away if you don't want to do that you don't want your can like form or your control to get like stuck when you're moving it all you have to do is hold down alt and you can move it the slightest bit and you can move it anywhere you want like those lines are not there anymore and then you can just release also you can resize your control in order to do that you're just gonna want to go ahead and um, hover your mouse over these little uh, boxes around your control and click and drag and you can make your control any size that you would like similar to the form. If you want to change the properties of control, for instance like the text or the color, you're going to want to go over to the properties panel with your control selected. In our case it's a button. So we're just going to go over to the properties panel and go down to text and we're just going to change the text of the button to click me and to um, just make the text that just going to click away and as you can see now it is clicking if you want to change like the color of the control you can go over to the properties panel again and select the back color and just change that to anything you would like just click this little drop down arrow right there and change it to I don't know, black I guess but I can't really see the text so that's not really good but yeah so there are a lot of other controls here. I encourage you to like mess with them because that'll just help you get more acquainted with C sharp. Um, another thing that you can do is um, uh, debug your application, and what that means is it will build your application and then run it, which means that it will check to see if there are any errors, and it will um, like create your application. So to debug, all you're going to want to do is click this little green arrow right up there, or you can click F5 and that will debug. And as you can see, now we have our application right here. And it has all the properties that we did. We have our button, with the white color for the background, and we have our other button. And if you click them, nothing will happen yet because we haven't coded for that any, for anything yet. But if you decide to stop debugging, you can either click the little uh, X button on your application, or you can click back to uh, C Sharp and click Shift F5 and that will stop debugging no matter what, no matter if your application is frozen or anything like that. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll get into actually writing code. So see you guys.